I am going to go put up today's video and then I'm going to start filming a first impression and then I'm going to head to the gym because I really want to do a first impression but if I wait till I get back from the gym it's going to start at like 12 do you know what I mean like I kind of need to start early so we can wear the foundation for as long as possible I'm trying to decide if I go to the gym or not I'm feeling a little bit under the weather I don't feel sick but I still feel like I feel last night like that kind of exhausted feeling like before you get sick and I'm like really scared that if I overdo my life right now I'm gonna like get sick so I don't know what to do I want to go to the gym it makes me feel better do I just go and like do like really chill exercise like I don't know what to do maybe I don't do cardio and now I'm still at the gym but it's not as like hard out I don't know the struggle is real right now so anyway I just uploaded my 15 fake tan tips you need to know video with lots and lots of tips some of them I haven't talked about before I'm going to share with you my top tips for a perfect perfect glowing tan yay love you guys Mwah. okay I'm doing a first impression but I'm gonna go to the gym like this um people I've seen a couple of comments like why have you got an animated intro you're trying to be like all the other youtubers and blah 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 like literally the reason we've got animation is to match this like it's supposed to all go together i'm not trying to copy anyone and like people are saying that i shouldn't be trying to be like people that are in hot water and like all of these weird things like i'm not i don't give a shit about them like i'm just doing me i'm doing what i like i like the animated look it goes with my branding and i wanted it to be all fluid i didn't want any other kind of intro and it's just something I wanted to do. And people are saying like, oh, you just went and used the same guy that does all these other YouTubers. No, I went local. I found a local person. His name's Phil and he's amazing. He's a graphic artist and well, illustrator and animation and stuff. He's amazing. He works with lots of big brands in New Zealand. And I did my own thing and I love it. So unfortunately for the people that think I'm just copying others and they think it's shit and don't like it. I mean, you've just got to watch it for like five seconds. I think you can get over it. Just annoys me when people like compare me to other people and say like, I'm trying to be someone else. Like, I think I've proven that I am just me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so my gym outfit today, I'm wearing the same top as you say. This is the Lorna Jane. And these leggings are from Cotton On ages ago. I don't know if I like them. They're not very good quality. They're very thin. Do they make the butt look good? You can't even see my bum because of all the patterns. So today I'm probably going to do some arm workouts. My legs are wrecked from, I did some resistance bands the other day. So my outer thighs are like absolutely torn apart. But they're so tight, like the muscles are like insane right now. Um, I'm definitely getting like a lot of muscle, definitely you can't tell because of the patterns, but <laughs> a lot more muscle definition in my legs, like especially I here. I've honestly just been feeling so good lately like I've been a little bit stressed but I feel so good just like with myself like exercising and just I don't even know how to describe it like I swear my bad thyroid was just like so much of an issue for so long and I didn't even know <laughs> and it's so funny like I was reading an old vlogs comments the other day and literally like because I was talking about my health issues like way back and people were like you should get your thyroid checked and I was like yeah I did and my doctor said it's fine but then when I went back to a different doctor and he tested again, he was like, no, it's very, very, like, slow and bad or whatever, like, the hormones and stuff. I don't even know what it is. I've got, like, a slow thyroid, not fast, whichever one that is. I forget because it's, like, hypo or hyper. I don't know. But basically, yeah, it wasn't in, like, critical. It wasn't, like, critical levels. It was just, like, bad. And that's why I've been struggling for so long. I definitely think finally finding our beach house has just been such a massive achievement. And it's really just made me so happy. Like, I'm not, like, I was never, like, stressed about it, but it was just, like, this ongoing, like, thing, trying to find a beach house, and, like, like, definitely the fun was being sucked out of it, because every time we found a house, there was issues with it, and I was just getting to that point where I was, like, whatever, I just won't get one, like, it's just not meant to be. Um, now that we've got it, and we've been, like, visiting and decorating, like, it's just something so amazing to look forward to, and it's just so much fun. And also, it sounds so bad, but it's been a while since Nana passed away. It's almost been a year. It's creeping up, and I've been thinking about it a lot. But at the same time, like, I'm finally getting used to it, which is, like, awful at the same time. Like, it's good for my, like, sanity, but also 
I feel bad that I'm getting used to her not being here. Like, I don't like that, but I feel like it's just a part of like the process. I don't know how to describe it. I feel awful, but like, I don't know. Like, I think about her in a positive light of like, she would have been so proud of me and just leaving it at that rather than thinking, oh, she's not here and then getting really upset and crying. Do you know what I mean? I'm getting really upset now because I'm talking about it out loud. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm getting used to accepting the fact that she's gone and just thinking like, oh, she would be proud of me and then leaving it at there rather than overthinking it and being like, oh my God, this isn't fair, life sucks or whatever. Still got her up on the fridge because I love her face. She's so beautiful. <laughs> oh God, look what I've done. This is the first time I've cried about it in so long. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's coming up and I have been thinking about it a lot, but... I'm definitely coming to terms with it a lot better and it's definitely not upsetting me so much anymore. Um, like I used to get upset about it all the time and I didn't feel like myself for a very, very long time. Like that whole year she was sick even, like that whole year I felt like not myself and you guys know that. Like you were watching the vlogs, you know I wasn't okay. Um, but you know, life goes on. This just came in the mail from Max Media Lab. They forwarded it on from GoTo. They gave me a little happy birthday gift, which is lovely. Some skincare. The brand new one. This is so cute. I love all the colors. A face oil. Pinky nudie lips. Super bum. Oh, let's try it on. I definitely think that this is another reason, like, my cortisol has come down. Because if you don't know what that is, it's basically, like, all to do with stress and your hormones and stuff. This is pretty. It smells amazing. Um... I obviously think that, you know, it was so bad because of dealing with Nana and work and all of these different things. Um, I think the fact that, it sounds weird saying it and awful saying it, but I think the fact Nana is gone, which I don't prefer, I wish she was here still, but that's just life. You know, I'm not trying to be with her all the time at hospital and stuff. I've got more time to focus on myself and focus on work and also like, <clears throat> me having my editor and everything it's really helped with my stress levels because I honestly like even in these vlogs there's so much I don't show you every day to do with like exo beauty and all of these different things that I work on um you know like it's not just vlogging and filming like there's so much other stuff that goes into my life so the fact that I don't have to edit every single video I still do some but I don't do every single video it's just so helpful and yeah just not having these really big life altering things happening in the background as well like you know having a very ill family member for such a long time my stress ov overall is obviously much less it's a good thing but i miss her so much i still like now i know it's real you know like for ages i was like this can't be real and it just doesn't feel normal now i'm like yep it's the way it is and I'm, that's how I'm kind of dealing with it now. It's like such a weird long process. I feel like I've lost a parent, but it's just like become normal. It's strange. I'm sure like heaps of you guys can relate. This is like the first family member of mine as an adult that I've lost who was someone that was like very, very close to me, like, like a parent. Like I said, like she raised me for a long, like a big part of my childhood. Um, I lost like other family members when I was young, but I was kind of too young to understand like the extent of it and It's just different when you're a little kid, you, <clears throat> you know, like it's just very different. Anyway, this lip balm feels nice. Time to go to the gym. Work off some of this, um, you know, mood I have. I feel very funny today, like I woke up feeling kind of sick and I'm just a bit like bleh. And now, yeah, rants and crying. Enjoy. <laughs> such a happy vlog today. Hello, focus on me please. Oh, I feel so much better mentally right now after that workout. Sometimes all you need is like a long walk with your favorite music or heading to the gym and just sweating it out and clearing your mind. Like that's why I love the gym so much. It's not even just about like changing my body or like trying to get fitter or whatever. whatever. Like for me, like the hugest part of going and working out is just my mental clarity and my mental health. It's so good. 
and even if you don't enjoy working out like just find something that gets you a bit of fresh air or a little bit of movement like i said just go for a walk walk your dogs um go for a bike go dance like anything even put on some of your favorite music in your room and just like bust out some stupid dance moves while no one's looking like seriously it's so good for your mind. I feel so much better. And I think that's why I'm just feeling so much happier lately. Like I've been more consistent with the gym rather than like doing it at night after a long day when, you know, everything's done already. And then I go at night and then I go to bed. Like it's just, it just doesn't work as well for me. For me going in the morning or going like midday, it just sets up the rest of my day for like just more positivity and happiness. Like going first thing in the morning is the best but sometimes you know i do a bit of work first like this morning but yeah just oh my god it's the best so i did an hour um well like an hour 10 minutes and 548 calories 155 max heart rate i just did an hour cardio like or just under an hour like 55 minutes and then like 15 minutes of just a little bit of weight training but i was pooped like i don't know couldn't be bothered doing my training today so i was like yeah i'm gonna go do some and then i started doing it and i was just like no can't be bothered and then i left <laughs> so yeah that's that all done look at this cool top that i got off asos it's like a million sizes too big for me but i don't care <laughs> i'm so excited so now i'm going to i've just like filmed my update for the foundation first impression it's going really well um next i'm going to just put on some more makeup and i'm going to film a lip swatch video should be good. I asked you guys to vote on Instagram which one you wanted to see out of Huda Beauty, Too Faced, and The Balm. The Too Faced won by a landslide and next up was Huda. So I'll probably try to do all three but I'll start with Too Faced. Um, even though they're metallic but they're metallic man, I'm so curious to see if I like them because I like matte but I don't like hard out metallic but I'm like am I gonna like these like what I don't I've never seen them before so I'm excited and curious. <laughs> I'm wearing my new top. This is my fingers. It's so big. I love it. <laughs> what are you doing? Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. Yeah, oh yeah, stretch it out. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> My dog's broken. Is he all good? Having a good old time, aren't you, Lou? Sort yourself out. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to make some lunch. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna have some kind of like chicken salad. I've got like 100 grams of chicken and oh look how like straight my bottom teeth are getting ah! i'm gonna do lettuce avocado onions and tomato maybe some jalapenos so i pre-cut this up the other night i'm just adding some onion salt and whoops some cajun seasoning aioli because it's delish if I can squeeze it voila I know this like lettuce is like Macca's lettuce aka the lettuce like no one else likes to eat like the white I mean not white lettuce get away from it sorry I just dropped some onion on the ground and Zeus was trying to eat it um I like all lettuce even when it's 
white and yellow. <laughs> but yeah, here's lunch anyways. Shall we do a taste test? So there's avocado, onion, jalapenos and stuff. Let's try it. Mm-hmm, good. Let me know if you want me to do a video on these period undies too. Lynette sent them to me as a gift to say thank you. They sent me some chocolates and stuff, so nice of them. But these are by Moddy Body. Let me know if you want me to try them. Excuse me. What do you want? What do you want? Oh. Oh. Um, I'm just making myself a giant cup of tea and I'm gonna head over and film my lips watch video and then once I'm done I will come edit a vlog and chill hey it's been a good day started off average but it's good now yes my salad was literally so good I'm considering waking up real early tomorrow and cooking some for Hamish or like preparing it for Hamish as well so he can take it to work hey but no promises we'll see how that sleeping goes I'm just out here living my best life with my giant shirt and my giant cup of tea oh so good uh, favorite thing ever right now seriously apart from you and you love you look at louis like a little deer scuttle 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 that's the noise louis makes when he walks it's just like scuttle 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 so it's been like an hour i just watched all of it in these and actually there were some like amazing ones i was shocked because i don't usually like metallic but they're very matte like it is true matte metallic they are so matte, but there's just, I don't even know, like you'll see in the video, some of them looked so freaking good. I was losing my absolute mind. And then some of them were so ugly. So I feel like it's gonna be a good lip swatch video. It's quite interesting. Honestly, like some, some of them were just like, whoa, what is this? What is this? Um, I need to touch up my makeup around my mouth now. I've just got a lip balm on. My goji and pomegranate. I'm just like layering it on right now because my lips are destroyed. <laughs> I need to not ever do swatch videos, lip swatch videos, where I do like entire collections ever again. Like this is okay, this amount, like that's probably like the most I'd want to do. But you know in the past I've done like 30 or 40, it's just like stupid. My lips literally like get chemical burns, so it's not worth it. Hopefully I don't get a chemical burn after today. Anyway, time to go edit a vlog. Today we're having wings. Oh by the way, someone asked about the quality of the um, fruit and veg they use. So the veg and stuff was fine, but... The what meat, they definitely give you like discount. Well, we got like three lots of discounted meat. I think it said it was discounted on there, so it said it was on special. Oh, okay. I have to check. I don't want to slag them just in case. No, we're not slagging them. People just asked how it was, but it's still fine. So we got these for dinner broccoli. Now, it's better when you just go in there and do it, and that way it's easier to reorder. Like, you don't end up getting all the pointless stuff. Yeah, we like didn't spend as much money because we didn't buy heaps of like dumb stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I recommend it. But where did you tell them where to pick up it? Yeah, we just picked it up. Yeah. Someone asked if they get it delivered and it's mint. Yeah, but like, it's on the way home for Hamish from work, so it doesn't really matter. Potato <laughs> Just what if. God, that's not the right potato for mashing. Look at it. What do you mean? It's fine. Have you tried it yet? <laughs> I haven't tried it. These, were the, um, these weren't the little ones. Oh, weren't they? Okay. What have we got? No, it's right. Did you put salt and pepper in it? No, it's so white. Oh. I just realized I forgot to say goodnight. Okay, you still can't see me. Never mind. If you go like this, you can. Oh god, that's not good. Isn't that? Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, say night. Good night. Did it show you or not? Yes, ugly.